fuck how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. Little bit of fame, little bit of hate, little bit of change. Watch the craze, keep it sane, don't fade away. Look how my mind plays. I'm Sunnyside. This uh, Thai place just opened up. It's called Term Term Tem Thai to Go. So there used to be like a Chinese food spot right here, and then I guess it closed down maybe for some crazy reasons. Maybe it was like, I don't know, cooking some rat or cockroaches or something. So hope not because I've been freaking eating from there. So I'm kind of scared to actually do some research on that. But it's kind of cool that I got, I got myself some Pad Thai chicken. And I got myself some iced coffee just to just rejuvenate myself. Yeah. So I'm just uh, I'm about to go home. See you guys later. All right, got the pad thai. Home now. I'm actually about to play some Call of Duty, but the freaking thing has to update, which is retarded. So here we go, got some pad thai. Woo! Look at that. It's chicken pad thai. That looks freaking awesome. So about to eat this while I wait for some Call of Duty. Peace. What's going on guys, it's your boy John So we're doing some, you know, some deadlifts, some squats So right here I'm doing some hyper extensions Trying to warm up my lower back I also warmed up my, my knees So I did 10 minutes of doing some cycling on the bike And that warmed up my knees Got to try to get the pre-workout flowing Trying to get my legs from, all the blood flowing from my legs Even though I did put a, you know, I do put a pillow on like before I sleep you know when I sleep I put a pillow like under my under my feet so the blood can go back to my body because I'm always on my I'm always on my feet cuz um, five six hours I'm on my feet you know I'm a waiter I'm always moving and uh, it's always good to put a pillow uh, under your feet so the blood can go back to your body <clears throat> so um just working on some squats over here um yeah i think i'm doing two plates and then this is another angle i'm doing two plates and a 10 because usually i start recording when i start doing two plates so i don't want to record almost everything so i do like about six or s i think i do about six or seven sets i think the first two three sets are like warm-up sets you know so i could get my my hip flexors kind of ready get my my body ready my um my muscle memory to to remember what i'm doing so i'm maxing this out i think this is my seventh set I'm trying to do at least like four to five reps it's a little hard to go ass to the grass but as long as you know you keep your form right because uh, i used to put like 245s and a 25 on the end so i decided like that was a little too heavy so i i took out five pounds less just for the form itself because i think my form wasn't as good and i was pretty much good morning good morning the the squat so that's one thing you really don't want you don't want a good morning your squats you want to pretty much squat you know you don't want to 
like do any kind of lower back uh, like 75% lower back during your squat and then I love doing these pause squats it really helps especially when you're in the hole I prob- probably do like um, five sets of these no five sets five reps of these on the seventh or eighth set and then gonna hit some deadlifts <clears throat> So I start, how do you say, recording around when I hit two plates, and then I do, I think I do it as the same amount, like seven sets, like five reps though, and I decided to um, put the 25s on top of the, the, the clips. Like instead of like taking out the clips and just putting the 25s, I decided to put the 25 because it's it's really a lot of work. Um, putting on those those weights, so the less work possible, so you could just like stay what like stay still, you know, just sit down and kind of recover as much as you can. So right here, doing some three plates each. Letting the the weights rest on the way down. So right here, um, anytime I do anything beyond three plates, I do touch and go. Um, yeah. So I let the I pretty much just touch the the ground and then just just go. That's why it's called touch and go. So, I I probably if if it's if the weight is pretty much dead on the ground, I probably I might have done three or two. But um, when I do touch and go, I, I really do five. I, I like to feel the weight going up. I guess I'm I am using the momentum, but it's whatever. It's all good. So um, and then doing some pause I think it's pause deadlifts doing some sumo pause deadlifts this really helps out I don't think it helps out with the lockout it helps out um, with the explosion so, um, from the ground so if, if you're pretty much um, stuck in the middle that's when you kind of want to explode on the way up Make sure you do some hip thrust exercise before you, you know, like, I usually do like, I usually do it like an hour before I go to the gym. I do, I usually do everything at home just because, I don't know, I hate doing hip thrust at the gym. It's, I don't know, it looks kind of homo, but like, whatever. <laughs> and then I'm going to end the exercise with doing some lunges, but this time I do all the way to the end and then I go, I do lunge, backward lunges on the way back. So I hope you guys like the workout. See you guys next time. Love you guys. Peace. So with the guys. Are we chilling somewhere else or? You know, just about to eat some dinner. The guys, you know what I'm saying? Some gains. Some gains. <laughs>